Hello everyone and welcome to another PHP My SQL login tutorial. Now even though the series is finished, there was a glitch in the previous system which would allow more than one user with the same username to create it. So you could have two admins or two people with the s uh, with any name that's the same. And uh, obviously if you've got a login system you don't want this. So um, to change this it's really simple, it's just a little bit more code to write. So to start off with, I'm just going to open up XAMPP and start up both Apache and MySQL. Oh, um, I'm sure that you can see just here, I've removed some code. I've deleted all of the code that inserts the new user into the database. And I've done this because this is where we'll be uh, creating the new code. So if you want to follow along, just delete all of the code in this if statement below the variables user and pass. So once you've done that, what we need to do is create a query to check if um, if the if um, the username that the user's created is already in use. So to do this, we're going to create a query, and to do this, I'm going to store it in a variable called query. So we're going to set this equal to the MySQL query function, and then what we're going to do is enter the query in here. So we're going to select uh, all results from the table users where the username equals uh, user. So what this is going to do is check whether what the user has entered for their new username is equal to an entry that's already in the database. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is just put the semicolon and now we're going to create an if statement to check whether there is any results or whether there are any results even. So what we're going to do is if mysql num rows and once again uh, as I explained in previous tutorials, mysql num rows counts the amount of uh, results that comes back from the query and we're going to count from the query um, stored in the variable query so if we just type that in there and if we put greater than zero all this is going to do is check uh, so what it's going to do is see if any users are in the database that have the same username as what the user entered and if the result is greater than zero then the username must already exist because there's going to be at least one username that's the same. So if we just display out on the screen a message like username already exists. Like that. And now if we just add in the else statement and what we're going to do here is put in another MySQL query and this is the same as before which will insert the user's information into the database. So if you don't have this code anymore, it's just insert into users. So it's going to insert data into the table users. And it's going to be inserting the username. And uh, it's going to, sorry, it's going to be inserting into the column username and password. And the values it's going to be inserting are uh, the username that the user entered, so that's the variable user, and also the the variable pass, and both in single quotations. And there, so we can just put a semicolon there, and if we were to do this, this would be fine. But just uh, for one more thing, I'm just going to include a header function here to redirect the user back to the login page once they've created their user account so they can log back in. So header location and index.php. So if I just quickly go over this, we've created a query up here. And what this will do is it will check if the username that the user's entered is already in the database. If it is, as checked by this if statement here, is going to display out on the screen username already exists. 
If the username doesn't exist, we're going to put the username and password into the database and then redirect the user back to the login screen ready for them to log in. So if we've saved this up here and we open our web browser, we can first of all open this up and we're going to also open PHP My Admin and we log in with root and pass123 oh, sorry that was test123 now once this is loaded if we open up our database login and then our table users and uh, as you can see I've cleaned up the table and got rid of all the test users that we created in the previous videos so we've just got admin with pass123 so just to check that we're still working correctly if we log in as admin and pass123 you can see we log in and log out perfectly and we've got an error on line 20 Okay, sorry about that everyone, we just forgot to add in a semicolon here, so if we put that in, save and go back and open the page again, we can log in as admin and pass123, as we showed a minute ago, and it all works, oh sorry this is a sign up, and uh, it shows username already exists, so as you can see, because we use admin it already exists. So now if we create another one, so if I put the CAS attack and put in a password, we get redirected to the login screen where I can log in with what I just entered. Just like that. But now if we go back to sign up and try and log in with the CAS attack and any password and sign up, username already exists. So as you can see we now have a working login system that checks whether the username already exists. So I hope you enjoyed this video and just to prove to you that this is working properly, if I refresh the table you can see that I've got another user here and it hasn't added any other users because the usernames are already in the database. So if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment, like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, just feel free to dislike if you want. But uh, thanks for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.